Anybody in Western Massachusetts who craves hardcore authentic Italian food has to stop on William Street in Springfield. Why? Because it's the home of Frigos. And the man behind Frigos is the namesake, Joe Frigo, mastermind. This is the guy that whips up all these wonderful Italian dishes that your doctor says you should never eat them. I mean, they're filled with cheeses and meats and all the good stuff that you probably should avoid, but you really can't. So we're here inside Frigo's, uh, we're looking for Joe. Where's I'll, Joe? I'll go get him in the back for you. Inside Joe Frigo's kitchen. Joe, what are we cooking up today? Oh, we're making a nice northern Italian stuffed pork chop oh. with a Marcella sauce and stuffed with Italian fontina, fresh parsley, breadcrumbs, and good Parmigiano cheese. How long does this take to prepare? Oh, it takes a few minutes to prepare and less to cook. I like that a lot. All right. All right. So we're going to start off with a little chopped ham and prosciutto. Prosciutto. And prosciutto. That's from uh, Parma, Italy. Then we're going to add some nice Parmesan cheese. This is hardcore stuff. Isn't a little it, fresh Italian parsley. Oh, Perfect. yeah. This is a nice meal. Easy. You can cook it today and serve it tomorrow. Then we're going to put that shredded Italian fontine in there. You could use shredded provolone, shredded mozzarella, anything that melts nice. So the consistency of the cheese is important. Yeah, because you want it to get nice and gooey and, you know, easy to eat. All right, okay. then we're going to put some nice Italian fresh breadcrumbs in there. Is that going to bind it up a little bit? Yeah, keeps okay. it all together. All right. And then we're going to hit it with some nice pure olive oil, just to kind of Soften it up. It's Italian food. If you don't put olive oil in it, Joe, you, you lose your car. That's your right. Italian car. That's what I put in my hair, too. I know you do. It's all slick back. The beautiful human being. <laughs> I'm envious. You got a great tan. All right, now you got Okay, now here's the pork, pork chop. chop. This yeah. is a loin pork chop. I put a little slit in the side, and then we're going to just open that up, and you get like a little bit, and you kind of bunch it up in your hand, squeeze it, get it nice and tight, and then you're stuffing it right in there. You fold it over oh, so yeah. it seals? Yep. Okay. Get it nice in there, clean it up nice. Don't you worry about it coming out during the cooking process? No, no, out? no, That's no, okay. no. All right. This is in there good. Okay, Boy, so now what we're going to do is we're going to flour that. We're going to flour it, put a little salt and pepper on there. Is this a basic flour? There's no yeah, flavoring just, of spices? Right, right. Okay. Get my olive oil started here. Yeah, flame that up. Get it nice. That's a big pan you got cooking there. Okay, so now we're going to flour that. Now, did you see how fast that stuffing was? Just a little Parmigiano, mozzarella, the Italian prosciutto, fresh herbs. Try to use those fresh herbs. It's pretty basic stuff. Yeah, but it's a lot of flavor there. All those nice cheeses really blend together. A lot of folks are really getting into pork these days. Pork is very versatile, isn't it, Joe? That's right, and it's good for you. Yep, lean. And uh, it's lean, and it's easy to cook. You don't want to overcook it, so it cooks quick. So what I like to do is I like to flour it, brown it on top of the soap for about four to five minutes just to seal in the juices. That's the reason why we flour it, to seal everything up. Gotcha. And then we're going to hit it with a little chicken broth, a little Marcella wine, and then we're going to take that whole pan and just put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Oh man, that is fantastic. So now okay. we go into olive oil. Okay, here we go. All right. I like the sizzle of the pork, did Joe? That's a beautiful oh, yeah, music nice to my ears. Yeah. We're going to add a little onion to our sauce. Okay. Just a white onion. Can you go with any other type of onion? Oh, white onion is best for okay. this application. Why is that? Well, it's the, it's the sweetness of it. Now, you know, I like to cut my onions a little bit thin so it cooks fast when you get it in there. I don't want it too chunky. The smaller pieces work yeah. best for this. Yeah, okay. Right, right, right. Are you going to put those onions on the side or around the edges? No, we're going to brown it right up with this pork right chop. Top? Okay. How long is that going to take in the pan before you put it in the oven? It only takes about four, five minutes here just to brown it up. And I want to get that pan really, really hot so when that Marcella wine hits there, it flames up, burns off a little bit, then I douse it with my chicken broth, then I'm going to take my whole pan, stick it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Beautiful. It's going to make a nice, thick, rich sauce. Oh. You can serve this with a little orzo pasta, a nice fresh broccoli, a little uh, risotto, whatever you're, whatever you're doing. Give me three Every, mushrooms, three mushrooms. Everything you've said is fantastic, Joe. So it's as simple as that, stuffed pork chops from Frigo's. Right. The place to go for hardcore Italian food. And if you don't have time, we got it all done for you every day. Just come right down and get it. It's all prepared. Take it home and warm it up. Bye, Grab and Joe. go. It's beautiful. Now I'm going to add just a couple of mushrooms. Now that's all going to cook within about 15 minutes. 
gonna add my uh, Marcella wine. Round that up nice. We're gonna add some uh, fresh chicken broth. That's your, that's your sauce right there. It's a very light sauce. Right, exactly. No cream, right, Joe? No, no cream on this one. A little fresh parsley, some nice salt and pepper. That's how the magic happens. Right there. So now, I got my oven already preheated at 350. I stick my whole pan right in here, set it and forget it. <laughs> 15 minutes, comes out perfect. And there's our stuffed pork chop. Enjoy.